Well, hello there, yes, it's Sunday, yeah. Three stories for you this morning, uh, which show the delightful state of our media. As ever, eh? As ever. Yes, well, first up we have the intriguing story of tampons in men's loos at Defra being investigated. This is by Camilla Tumini, who is a very good friend of GB News, so she knows all about what an important news story is. And um, as I said a few weeks ago, um, if you want to ensure that you're going to get um, local bigot groups making life difficult for absolutely every human being that they can do, the one way they'll do it is through freedom of information requests, and sure enough, someone's done that at DEFRA. So we have Teresa Kofi, who's going to spend her time now, presumably because she's a very busy woman, what with, you know, the whole water situation in the country. But anyway, we're going to get her to um, pursue uh, sanitary products in loos. Now, with these kind of stories, you always get a certain section of people. They will probably always be with us, the people that wish harm on others. And they'll say to the question, um, what should uh, fully transitioned individuals, what toilet should they use? They will say, I don't care, because they don't. The whole issue with trans issues is not to care about individual people, it's to have a group that we can all spit at. And it's kind of convenient that the head of Faces in Water should spend her time skulking around the lavatories. Don't you just love our current front bench, eh? So much talent. And then, as I said just a few days ago, um, we'll have the sight of various people using children as cats um, to uh, demand that the dreadful critical race theory stuff be removed from schools. The beauty of these stories, of course, is that the T no, CRT isn't taught in British schools. But what people can therefore decide is that history is being taught in schools. But they don't like that history. They prefer their own history, different history. So, as I said, we'd have Dr. Al Al Alka Cuthbert of Don't Divide Us, Don't Divide Us, set up by a certain Andrew Doyle, a, who's a regular contributor on, oh yeah, GB News. Small world, isn't it? Anyway, she was talking to everyone's least favourite cosplay vicar, uh, about critical race theory in schools and spouting the usual stuff that you've heard for the last few weeks which isn't actually true. So it's not so much throwing a dead cat on the table as throwing a live school child who identifies as a cat on the table. Why bother talking about anything important when you can wage incoherent culture wars against, you know, I don't know, basically a noun, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, we don't like lessons being taught in schools. We want children to think for themselves, but they mustn't be presented with things that mean that they think for themselves, otherwise they might think for themselves. Gotta love these people. It's always coherent. And talking of coherent, we return to the Daily Telegraph, which has got itself all in a bit of a tizzy, because uh, apparently um, older versions of a uh, particular series in the thick of it, polit politics again, you notice, um, which has Chris Langham, who's a convicted sex offender in it, the BBC is going to put it on their streaming sites. And of course, this is really dreadful that they're doing this, because it's got Chris Langham in it, and he's a convicted convicted um, um, pedophile, effectively. Uh, anyway, everyone's very, very upset about this. But um, as I recall, the Daily Telegraph is a paper that demands that we don't censor the past. We just have to be big boys and live with it, uh, no matter what distress it causes. I do believe that that's the case. Or does that not apply when they just want to have a go at the BBC? Is that it? Yeah. It's really, really, really funny when Ricky Gervais has a go at trans people, but it's not funny when people have a go at him for it. Then it's a very serious issue, and these bullies must be stopped. Yes, gotta love the Daily Telegraph, gotta love GB News, gotta love the importance of these stories on a day 
when Europe is basically melting. Somebody is very, very, very cross about something in a very first world way. Anyway, do have a lovely Sunday.